uh, camera flipped around today on the phone. Um, went and actually uh, got a swarm call last night. And uh, yesterday was kind of a rough day because uh, my dog, I had an old dog that uh, finally uh, crossed the rainbow bridge yesterday. Um, so, you know, it was a tough day, but I got a call for a swarm and went and picked it up. And then that was about 10 o'clock last night I went and got that swarm. And then I had a... Uh, a uh, cast off swarm I told him yesterday I said well chances are tomorrow when when the Sun comes out that uh, we might have a secondary swarm and sure enough we did so I went and got it as well and I got them in pro nukes right now I don't know I got them locked up but they're collabor or they're getting more bees on the bot on the pro nukes on the bottom one was the one from last night and uh, they seem to have more bees kind of collaborating on the front and back of those colonies uh, actually clustering and uh, I guess they could have probably came out of that bottom right there so my worry is if I try to catch them and put them back in that I might lose them all together but the queen could be in that cluster right there on the back so I don't know um, don't know the top one was the little uh, cast off I mean it's tiny um, that's underneath uh, in the top box so we'll have to uh, to see what to do on that one um, and uh, you know kind of hey let me see I just missed a comment it popped up and went away real quick hey Chris yeah uh, so I did get the job Pending uh, background and um, and physical, right? So I got to take a physical. So I got the physical on Tuesday. So we'll see see how all that works out. And uh, you know, we could have it could have a queen right there in that cluster. They're clustering on the outside, so I might have to scoop them back off and put them back in there. Um, Bees are flying pretty good. Let's go back. I haven't put any feed out yet, but they seem to be trying to uh, clean this tote up. I actually moved the tote back just a little bit. You can see all my buckets that are collaborating here. But they are trying to, uh, to clean that up, and it's dry down there, so... Uh, right now, there's so many bees that are in there. If I pour, I'm probably going to drown a bunch of them. Um, so, might not put any out today. We'll have to see. See with that. But, yeah, it's been a kind of a uh, crazy day. Crazy day so far. Just getting a... Uh, Bees. I get, you know what? I might be able to pour some feed in there. Let me, uh, we'll make some up real quick while we're live here and show you exactly how I'm doing it. Um, so there's no confusion if any, all you pre orders that we got on the website, uh, I just get me a bucket and try to, try to, uh, try to go ahead and make sure all the bees are out I'm not worried about ants I'll drown an ant no problem so oh you know what I forgot I stretched my water hose out for the ducks yesterday so it's way over here I gotta drag it back for the bees and grab my hose so this is how I do my Apis Biologics. You guys will probably, unless you got a bunch of colonies, probably not be doing it like this because of the amount of uh, Apis Biologics that you need to use, which is not as much as what I need to use. So I'm gonna set y'all up right here on this 
thing. Hopefully, I know you can see me, but I just got my my control. Go ahead and open up the jar here. Still got a little bit in there. And all I'm doing, because I'm making 10 gallons at a time, so I'm just I just got a little plastic spoon, and I'm getting about yeah, read right about half of a spoon. And just putting it in there not really weighing it out per se and uh, my hose here it's on full so I'm just gonna hydrate that then I'm just mixing it up now you can put it in a blender, which is the recommended, but I, I found that I haven't really needed to do that myself. Um, and let me make sure I got all the bees out in my bucket here. No bees in the bucket anymore. And uh, see if I can bring y'all down a little closer while I'm doing, well, can you even see? That's the question with the phone. Being able to see. Um, anyway, all right, so that one's got a lot of syrup in it. For some reason, we disconnected for a second. Sugar syrup. And now I will have to set you down. And I won't even be able to see you. You guys may not even be able to see me. Let's see. Oh, this is a lot in here. So, I, uh, I try to get it about 50-50, about guys. Right about 50-50. Uh, just to get it concentrated then I got my my mixed up Apis Biologics sorry about the wiggly camera I'm trying to open the jar now with one hand squeezing it under my arm and uh, because this is all going in one open feeder I don't necessarily have to uh, I don't necessarily have to split it up because it's all going in the same thing but I do so, just about 50-50. <clears throat> this one on the right actually has a little bit more in it. A little more syrup. I'm just going to mix up. Feels like I got a bee on my head. About five gallons. And I'm using the pressure of the water to help mix it in with the sugar syrup. Already got bees checking us out over here. Just like that. And I'm gonna grab, got the bucket, one bucket. I use them both at the same time, but it's kind of hard to do that and do the phone, so bear with me. Ugh, if I don't spill this all over my pants, it would be lovely. And now to do this without killing a million bees, which I'm going to try to pour it to the back over there. Uh, One-handed, too. That's going to be fun. So bear with me. Ugh. All right, so I did get a, I did catch a couple bees in there, but before I fix the straw, I'm gonna go ahead and grab this other bucket. So if you're just watching and haven't heard me talk about it before, or Earl talk about it before, or Ian Stepler talk about it before, 
this Apis Biologic. Apis Biologics is uh, what Ian Stepler refers to as rocket fuel for his bees. This is what he uses and uh, what I've been using. And they seem to really take it down. Let me, uh, let me pour this other bucket here. And then we'll fix the, fix the straw or put some more straw down. Uh, probably just put some more straw in there. And, uh, And that way they got, they can get out. And this is the old straw that I used before that, uh, all right, there we go. So now they got feed. Let me just turn the buckets to make sure they're draining downhill where we don't get any drowning like that one right there. Oops, sorry guys. I get to doing stuff, forget I got the phone in my hand. Just make sure we don't, don't drown them as many as possible. And, uh, that's it guys, that's the uh, that's how you do the control. At least that's how I do the control. Uh, hopefully you guys are having a good day. I got this right here. I don't know what it is. But we do have some bees forging on it. A few bees working it right here in the yard. And they, they don't stay on one very long and they go to the next one. So, it's pretty good. Pretty good. Can't, compl can't complain on that. So, I need to figure out what to do with this swarm. Probably going to crack them open, which could let me lose them. I don't know. Um, but then again, for some reason, it looks like they might have just popped out of the, out of the back there. Because uh, it looks like it's kind of sticking out a little bit. But, uh, yeah, that's kind of what's going on. Not much here, you know. And uh, trying to just get ready for winter. You know, because Game of Drones, winter is coming. <laughs> and uh, with all of the, uh, well, the two swarm calls yesterday. And the, uh, it was the same person though, right? So it wasn't, wasn't crazy. I knew that they'd probably do a cast off swarm in the morning if there was any forgers or or anything, you know, still out there. But anyway, guys, I'm going to try to work this uh, um, this swarm. If uh, if you guys haven't pre-ordered already from uh, from bewares.bigcartel.com, uh, pre-order 20. The time on the uh, pre-order is running out. We're going to be shutting that off probably this week coming up. Uh, so make sure you get your order in while you can still get the discount. And uh, we'll see you guys on the next stream. Have a good one, guys. Bye.